Coronavirus cases are rising every single day, and it's easy to feel helpless in times like these. But there are a few life-saving measures you can help out with. We spoke with an American Red Cross representative who told us how you can literally help save lives. So we're hosting a blood drive here at Hookerton Volunteer Fire Department. It's a call for help from the community. Red Cross is doing a push out there for those who are recovered. So if you have been exposed or think you've been exposed, um, you also need to be symptom free for 14 days. The American Red Cross needs recovered COVID patients to donate their blood and plasma. They'll use the antibodies to combat the deadly virus as treatment for current patients. We also need a license or a donor ID. And we're encouraging all donors to make appointments. Um, we're really encouraging appointments. We are accepting walk-ins when available. If you've donated blood before, this process might look a bit different. They're taking safety measures to keep donators and volunteers safe. Masks are required to come in our facility. If you don't have one, we will provide one. You are also temperature checked before coming in. If needles aren't your thing, the American Red Cross also needs volunteers to help set up the blood drives. Or you can even host one of your own. Just make sure to give them a call. I would encourage any school, community, church, civic group that's interested to reach out to American Red Cross. Remember, even if you're scared of needles, there are still plenty of ways you can help. In Greene County, this is Victoria Holmes, 9 on your side.